front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone and welcome to Maurice K. Goddard State Park. We're here in Mercer County, roughly 70 miles or so north of the city of Pittsburgh in northwestern Pennsylvania. And we're only probably about 23 to 24 miles away from Palmatuming State Park. Now, if you're traveling on Interstate 79, you can't miss this place because Interstate 79 literally goes over Lake Wilhelm. And that's what this park is known for, is its massive 1,680 square foot lake. Now, this place is very popular for fishing. It's a very popular summer destination uh, for fishing and kayaking, and there's a multi-purpose trail that goes around the lake. There's a dam here, and fun fact, I've never been to this park before, despite living in Pittsburgh my entire life. So I'm excited to share this with you guys, and this be the first video for the State Park series this year. Obviously, we brought our Pennsylvania State Park passport, and I'm already on the page for this park. And as you can see, I already have it stamped. And I have that stamped already because I'm doing this intro after I'd already met with a park ranger. And the nice guy was nice enough to stamp the book as the little box that they had with stickers uh, with the stamps on them was out. Now it is a Sunday evening, so that doesn't really surprise me. As their park office is only open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Now, when I say this is a park for everyone, I mean everyone. They usually all are. Very handicap friendly, handicap accessible. There are several boat launches around here. There is a marina where you can even rent a boat if you don't bring your own. And it's very friendly, very fun, great for fishing year round. In the wintertime, this is great for ice fishing. And well, let's just read a little bit of the information that the book provides here. Maurice K. Goddard State Park. Highlight, kayak the lake. The 1,680-acre Lake Wilhelm is a year-round angler's paradise. In winter, ice fishing is popular and accounts for many of the larger fish caught. A paved, multi-purpose trail circles the lake for hiking and bicycling. The observation blind is a great place to look for eagles, osprey, and migrating waterfall in the spring and the fall. Now, I've seen that little uh, blight, I don't, or that blind. I don't know if it's opened. Uh, right now But I seen it. It looks like it's pretty tall and you're very secluded up there, but I Don't know. We'll see if we can check it out. If not We'll check out all the places that we can around this awesome park. It's very large So we have to drive a lot to get to places. So what are we doing sitting here and talking about it? Let's go check it out and enjoy Maurice K. Goddard State Park and while we do that we'll come up upon a plaque at the park office to explain how this park got its name. Here is a plaque at the park office commemorating Maurice K. Goddard, known as the architect of Pennsylvania's park system. Maurice K. Goddard left a legacy few can match. He led Pennsylvania's natural resource agencies for 23 years under six governors as secretary of the departments for forests and waters and environmental resources from 1955 until 1978. Goddard made it a goal to establish a state park within 25 miles of each citizen. He created 45 parks during his tenure, creating an additional 130,000 acres of state park land. M.K. Goddard State Park was dedicated and named after him in 1972, with his death in 1995 at the age of 83. Pennsylvania lost a great conservationist. Lake Wilhelm is known for some wayfaring waterfowl great place for birds and bats they have lots of bats here as well and with summer just around the corner you'll be seeing a lot of friends around here now you can already see all the boats ready to go
Maybe got a little fishing pier. The main road goes right over the lake. It sets up for some pretty nice views as you go across. The little bridge, the causeway. Takes you to the park office where we will try to retrieve our stamp for the book. First park video for 2023. There's a little fishing pier. Handicap accessible, handicap friendly. Even have a trash chute right there. They have a big picnic grove over there, great for a party. I know there will be a bunch of high school graduation or college graduation parties going on. Great for weddings too, playground for the kids. The net building that's coming into view now, that's a marina over there. You can rent boats, you can launch from over there as well. Well, the launches are over there, but you can rent a boat or bring your own. And there are several launch sites around this lake. This is one of the few views you get going over the causeway. Might not look like anything right now, but it opens up pretty well here in just a second. so large it actually sets up for some pretty nice country drives out here as well. Very scenic. So I'm here at the park office and I just checked they have a little box over here on the weekends because their park office is only open Monday through Friday 8 to 4 they have a box here where they have the stamps for the passport book but unfortunately they are out of them however as we've had happen with other state parks if I find a park ranger they are usually always happy to do it and we caught up with the one here and uh, he said to give him a minute because he was parking his truck around back and he'll stamp my book here for Maurice K. Goddard State Park now we're here at the southeastern edge of the lake where the dam is and they have a staircase on each side they have a parking area down there I wish I would have known that because I just parked the car up on the road a little bit I'm on the shoulder but still look we have Amish friends here too very cool Seen a lot of Amish. Possibly Mennonites. Like how the water just filters right into there. You can hear it roar. This Lake Wilhelm drains through that and comes out right down here. And obviously, you know, we're going to go down there and take a look.
Danger, keep off. Now that I know about that parking lot on the other side, instead of walking down those steps, I'm just going to drive over there and park in an actual parking spot. And then we'll get some nice shots of the stream down here and where the dam lets out. So follow me and we'll go check it out right down there. Why all the Amish and Mennonites don't usually like to be photographed it is cool to see all their little buggies right there. And there is a horse back there as well. I imagine they're having a picnic behind the trees. So that's really cool. There's where the dam lets out. Just coming down Lake Road, you come down the hill and it just really opens up to a nice view of the lake here for a moment. Then the road goes back up into the countryside, as you can see, up through the woods. But there is a pull-off not far ahead, and we pull over there and get some shots of the lake. A lot of fishermen out there out on the lake and we have fishermen behind me here on this little pullover. Got a smoky sunset approaching because of the wildfires in Canada. Right across the lake is one of the boat launches. A lot of boat launches here along Wilhelm Lake. Lake Wilhelm. However you say it. Here we are at boat launch number three. This is right by the causeway. And I chose to come down to this one because I think it's really scenic down here. Really nice view, little areas to sit at and fish, to picnic. Right by the water here. And we have a dock, so I'm naturally gonna walk out there and give you a good shot of the lake. And you'll hear highway traffic in the background because we're right near Interstate 79, which is way back there. You probably can't see it very well because of the sun and the glare, but I-79 right there goes right over the northwestern edge of Lake Wilhelm. Beautiful day out here.
and there's Lake Wilhelm Road. That's the causeway that I had mentioned. Got people fishing over there on the other side of the brush and trees. Just a beautiful day. Now here in late May. Sorry it took me so long to get the park video started for this year. But now the weather is just perfect. I really hope you enjoyed. Here's a little walkway. Looks like it was under construction recently. Like they tried to rehab the place. And I say that because of the new trees. They have a few picnic tables here. Great fishing spots as well. There's one of those picnic tables. I like the little bench over there. You have to walk to get to it, but that's okay. I know it's hard to see the sun as it's behind the trees already, but it has that really, really orange glow to it. And it's because of the wildfires, sadly. But here is your last look at the lake. It was fun. I have to come up here and bring my boat. And when I do, I'll bring you guys along. Fish are jumping this evening. All right, everyone, I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. This was really fun, and it's just a beautiful spring evening for this. We have the sunset heading down now and it's a smoky sunset because of the unfortunate wildfires in Alberta, Canada, bringing smoke up into the atmosphere and bringing it east towards us. Um, so prayers and thoughts to everybody affected and all the wildlife because this is home to them and we come here to enjoy it. And in Canada, I can't think of a reason why they would have to, I can't think of a reason why they deserve to have to suffer like that because our friends in Canada are always really nice so anyway if you ever get a chance to come here to northwestern Pennsylvania you go to Erie PA or even Lake Palmatuming not too far away is Maurice K. Goddard State Park and I highly recommend you check it out I'll tell you what I haven't gone fishing in a few years now but with all the anglers I've seen out here today it really makes me want to grab my gear and go so I might have to do that here soon and I have to remember to bring my inflatable boat that I have that I can take out onto the lake, which this would be perfect for. We just had a fish jump out of the water behind me. I'm only sorry the camera didn't catch that. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel or you're new, feel free to subscribe and check out all the videos. This is a variety channel. I do all kinds of things, and I'm trying to organize it better where I'm going to make playlists for the state parks, for trains, for abandoned, retail-related, etc. And state park videos I usually upload on weekends, whether they be Friday evenings or Saturday mornings. I usually try to upload them on the weekends, so... Uh, as 2023 rolls on and I get a chance to go out to more state parks, I will do them as often as I can. Might not be able to do them every weekend, but I will do them as often as I can. Because we have 124 or 125 state parks to cover, and I've done about a dozen now, and uh, we're just getting started for this year. And if we have weather like this, 
we're in for a real treat all year long. So hopefully you'll want to stay tuned and enjoy those. I'll be happy to do these videos. I thoroughly enjoy doing them for myself, and I love sharing these uh, trips with you guys. So thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time. Take care and stay awesome once again. Bye-bye. Thank you.